What's up guys, SAG here, welcome to another video here in the Smithies FC career mode and we're going to start off this game with a game against Exeter City, the winners of League 2. As you can see the two teams coming out there and there will be some new faces in this one. We're going to run a bit of a rotation squad as you will see in the starting laps as you can see the two teams lining up. Which includes a different captain for this game. Shout out to Fashionary. He will be our captain in this one. As you can see the Exeter City team. We're at home. This is a big game for us. See if we can get some points with the rotation squad here. As we go to look into our starting lineup. And here's the changes. First, Albert Carr is going to get a start at goalkeeper. Sorry, Thomas Phillips was the captain. Zachary Roberts is going to play left back. Telmo Polino is getting a start at CDM. Uh, Jack DeBry is on the right. Bratch on the left. Paxson Aronson at Cam. And Tanner Ward is going to be leading the line at striker from the USA. So that's going to be our starting lineup. As you can see, the two teams shaking hands. It's quite a, a risky move, but I want to see what these guys are made of. We can't. We're just more than just one starting lineup. As you can see, the Exeter City team here. Randall Williams and Joel Randall would always give us trouble in the previous. Nigel Antonga on the bench there is a key you got to look for. And Ryan Bowman's playing up front at the striker position. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 just like us. As you can see, the two teams are ready for action here. The Exeter City team huddling here as the Smithies FC team already ready. We do have some of our stars in there like Nigel and Bashar. But we are ready to get underway here at Mitchell Park. It's Smithies FC in Exeter City here. As we are ready to get underway here at Mitchell Park, let's get this party started. And we do get it started here with Nigel's playing around to Thomas Phillips. Phillips looking for Zachary Roberts. Roberts finding Polino from Portugal, the Portuguese CDM. He's pretty much jack of all trades, kind of. Here's Bashar looking for Jack DeVries. Rise into Bashar. Paxson Aronson looking for Polino. Polino making a run for it, finding Tanner Ward. Tanner Ward. He was looking for Aronson but couldn't find him. Here's Collins. Collins in for Taylor. Taylor with it. He's going to play along to Randall Williams. Here's Randall Williams cutting in here. Williams is doing a nice little turn there and looking for Caprice. Caprice into Dodd. Dodd still with it. Dodd into Bowman. Bowman on the turn. It's 1-0. Albert Carter got a tip on it, but couldn't save it. It's Ryan Bowman early, and I don't know. I think if Jordan was there, that would have been saved. And I think that moment just showed me that I need to play Jordan on the daily. As you see, look, Bowman strikes a near post, and Carter's there, but he just deflects it into his own net. Like, I mean... You're all over that. You're all over that, and you just deflect it high. you got to be faster than that. This is EFL League One, and it's just disappointing that we can see that goal. And that's going to be a big goal for Ryan Bowman. It's his second in the campaign. That's going to make a 1-0 extra city as we are off to a rough start in the 28th minute. Dodds with it into Ryan Bowman. Bowman finding Collins. Collins back to Bowman. Here's Collins. Collins turning the strike. Nice block there by... Bashar, here's Randall in the sp Sparks into Collins. Collins finding Randall. Randall to Bowman. Bowman on the turn. It's Bowman trying to play it through, but he couldn't really find anyone. They are just all over us as we move on here to the 44th minute. Here's Williams throwing in a cross. In, and that's going to be a goal kick. But again, we just, we had nothing going. Zero. Zilch. It just felt like there's such a huge difference when we when we don't have Jake Matt at that strike position. We tried to play it for it. It's going to be the half 1-0 here for X or C. Well, actually, they're going to try to play longer, but I believe it stayed 1-0. Here's Randall. Oh, Randall's still with it. Cutting in. Randall into Collins. And Collins finds someone late. I thought it was going to stay 1-0 for a half, but maybe it doesn't. Here's Sparks. Sparks. And here goes the whistle. That's what I was saying. I mean, nothing was going on. Zero. We had zero shots. We had a bit of possession, but we just couldn't break, couldn't break through. And we got to be better. They broke through early. And now look back. Kind of a dull game other than that first goal by Ryan Bowman. It's Exeter City 1, 
Smithy's FC nil. As we move on here in the second half, moving on to the 67th minute, Zachary Roberts with it, playing it back to Albert Carter. Carter looking around, he's going to find Bashar. Bashar, nice pass to Josh. Josh looking, but that's taken away by Collins. Collins and the Sparks. It's Randall now, but that's a good tackle by Bashar, but we can't win it. Sparks, oh my goodness, Bashar, take a bow. What a defensive masterclass. Here's Jack DeVries. DeVries has it taken away. Constant turnovers here. Here's Taylor. Finding Williams. Williams back to Taylor. Taylor finding Bowman. Bowman. Nigel Antonga. Antonga into Randall. Randall back to Bowman. Big save there by Albert Carter. That was better. We just need him to save that just to help our confidence. As we go make a double sub, Andrew and Jacob Story are coming on for Jack DeVries and Paxton Aronson. So, sorry, and Taylor Bradshaw. As you can see, the header there out wide. I think Bradshaw went to the camp position there. I can see Nigel's with it. Sorry, Bradshaw went to, um, no, Aronson went to left mid. Here's Bashar in the story. Story finding Polino. Polino turns it over again. It's Williams in the Bowman. Here's Williams. Can he find someone? What a tackle by Thomas Phillips. And we do get it back here as Bashar has it. Playing it to Zachary Roberts. Zachary Roberts looking. He's just going to play it short. Sorry, play it long here to Bashar. Bashar with it, looking for Andrew. Andrew finding Story. Story looking. Nice chip ball. Here's Andrew. Andrew's through. Can we get a tie here? It's Andrew. Oh, no. Andrew kicks a field goal. He absolutely shanks a breakaway. And what was our first chance, big chance, or chance of the game, Andrew just misses it, and it remains 1-0 here as they have a goal kick. That is devastating as they play along here. Header won by Bowman. Nigel Antonga with it, playing along the Williams. Now, Exeter City are looking to push here for a second goal, and that's a foul on Zachary Roberts. It's for sure to be a yellow card as that tackle on Williams was nowhere near the ball. And now Williams to take the cross. It's in. Nice header out there. Parks now with it. Into Williams. Williams. Can't get to it. Williams is going to play it into Key. It's Key. Oh, it's 2-0. Exeter City are going to get the win here. And our rotation squad just straight up did not show up in this one. Nice through ball here to Key. I don't know what Zachary Roberts is tackling, but it's definitely not the right guy. It's just air. As Albert Carter had no shot that one. Nice strike by Key near post. And Smithy's, as you see, it's going to show Albert Carter, but, I mean, he was behind that. He's just, he needs to improve, really. His positioning wasn't really there that good. His reactions are horrible. He just needs to get better, and we're going to get there. But when you have Jordan and you have a downgrade like that, it's shocking. As Antanga has it here, and that's Nigel there taking it away. Phillips looking for Roberts, but Bowman steals it. Bowman with it. And the Williams. Williams, Exeter City pushing for another goal. Williams with the strike. Nice block. Williams on the rebound. He's going to play to Nigel Antonga. Nice save there by Albert Carter as he gets aggressive there in his goal. That was more like it, really, from Albert Carter. And now it's going to be a corner kick. As Taylor is here to play it in the box. Taylor throws it in. The header. Nice play there defensively. by men on the near post. Here's Parks. Parks with the strike right at Albert Carter. Carter's just going to push it. We need a goal. Here's Zachary Roberts. Roberts making a run for it. He's going to find Telmo Polino. Telmo Polino. Nice cut in. Finding Story. Story. Can he find someone? He'll find Bashar. Bashar cuts back in and has it taken away from him. Here's Bowman, and that should be game. Extra City get an easy win here. We try to run our rotation squad, and it backfired big time. They were just dominant. They pressed really well in this game. I know it didn't really show, but they pressed really well. It gave our guys no chance. Andrew really had the only chance, really, for our side, but Bowman and Key with the goals early and late. And Exeter City are going to get a big one there as this was just truly disappointing from our squad. This rotation squad needs to get better. That's all I got to say. We lose 2-0 here at Mitchell Park. As we look at some of the other scores here, 
again, this is just a letdown of a game. Uh, I don't know how, what other way to say it, but we're going to be better. I know that. And we're going to start winning. And we, we have to start winning, really. Um, yeah, very tough game. And, yeah, you can't win every week. Um, we, ju we just can't cope with them. They were too good. Bowman, again, Bowman played great. But we got to look at ourselves. This rotation squad needs to be better. We even had some of our stars, and then we still couldn't get the win. As we move on here, we have some player chats. Uh, just talking about loans. Uh, we were going to send Lance Gray on loan. Uh, Julian Dunn will be up for sale. If not, we're going to release him late if he doesn't go anywhere. Um, so moving on, I was looking at Miguel Ramos and Adam Barn, And Miguel Ramos is one year younger. I know I need to use him. He's right-footed. He's short. So I made a decision. He's going to be my backup right mid. Barn is going to go out on loan. So that's that. Miguel Ramos will be my backup right mid. He's got great potential, and we got to use it. As I'm going to insert him in for uh, DeVries, as I just got to scroll down there to Miguel Ramos. So Jack DeVries likely will leave at the transfer window. He's just, his potential isn't good enough. We move on here. It's a, a game against Charlton Town. We go in Simmet, and we get a solid 2-1 win. Jake Mann, Diego Durate with the goals. We needed that one. Again, Charleston Town recently promoted with us, but they're still a really good team for the EFL League 1. So that was a solid win again. We have to win the games. We have to just win some games, really. We're supposed to be a title contender, and we're not showing it right now, but it's early in the season. Uh, Hans Eriksson makes the move to left mid. It's only gonna, not going to improve by any overall. But again, he's got the pace for it. He needs to work on his passing and shooting. So I'm going to use inverted mid wide midfielder. Let's. I was thinking about using other ones, but you know what? We need to work on his sprint speed as well. His acceleration is already good. So let's just start with the inverted, and then we're going to move from that to the passing, which is the passing midfielder. So that was that for that position change. He's now left mid. It's going to be hard to really pick and choose between players when there's so many good players. But I can only pick a few. As we move on, we have a transfer offer for really undone here. He could be leaving as he was fantastic for us. We have a press conference here before a game against Fleetwood Town. And again, we we always respect our opponents. Right now, with where we are in the standings, we are desperate for points. Yeah, we need to find some consistency. And we've got all we need. Again, I have so many youth academy players. I don't need to use a transfer window. So we go to sim this game against uh, Fleetwood Town. We had a somewhat rotated squad for this one. And we end up getting a 2-1 win. Jake, sorry, Telmo Polino. Portuguese CDM and Jake Matt with our goals. They got one late from Esteban, so that's a solid win. I was able to rotate the squad and still get the, the victory, so that was great. That moves us to fifth uh, with 21 points. As we go to Sim here, Julian Dunn will not be leaving as of yet. His transfer talks break down. I may just release him if nothing goes on. We have Baldessimo, Fashionary, Bashar, and Josh, Jake, Matt. They will all be on international break uh, going into October. So, right after that, we have a big game here against Lewintown. They're first in the table. This is a big one right here. We can catch up to a huge team in the table. So let's start by looking here in the starting lineups. We're going with the regulars. We're going with the full squad. Uh, the Rise and Junk will, will actually come off the bench. And again, I think the key in this one really is Jacob's story. If he can really show up, we can really have a good get a good result here. As we are ready here. Here's the Loon Town lineup. Uh, Mpazu looking pretty good there. Lula, Adebayo, Joe Morrell. Some of these players are really good. They're running a 4-3-3. I mean, they're first place. They're relegated. They were relegated from... Uh, EFL Championship. They're going to be a good team. This is going to be a tough matchup as we are ready to get underway here from Mitchell Park. As Conrad here early in the 12th minute, if it's Lonnekire, I can barely say that name, and Pazu gets in, heads in to Naismith. Naismith with it as he plays it back to Pearson. Pearson looking for Moncour. Moncour is out of bio. Out of bio looking. Still, he's going to find Morel. Morel with the turn. 
Morrell back in the Cornick, it's 1-0. Loon Town get on the board early. Cornick, that's a nice hold up play by Morrell. And you, as you can see, they are dangerous. Very, very dangerous. As Loon Town get off to a great early start away here. Again, look at this ball here to Morrell. Morrell, nice job, turns on Nigel. Nice back heel and Cornick one time. Ray right into the left corner with authority. Look at that. Look at that strike. Fashionary just couldn't get to it. And just like that, Smithies FC are down 1-0 here. It's Harry Cornick. And that's his first goal in the league. As we move on here. Down 1-0. Tough start early. Moving on to the 32nd minute. Here's Fashionary in the ball to Simo. It's Nigel. Nigel looking long to Durate. Can Durate find someone? He finds Jake Matt. Jake Matt looking around. He's got Story. Story. And the ball to Simo. Sorry, Bashar. Bashar with it. Story. Story playing at the Jake Matt. Jake Matt's through. Oh, big save by the keeper. Rebound to Durate. Oh, what a save. What a save by the keeper. Durate got the rebound off the volley. And the goalkeeper leans back and tips it over. Wow, that is absolute class from the Loon Town keeper. And he's going to keep it on 1-0 for now as Durate is ready to take this corner. He throws it in for Nigel. And Nigel couldn't get the header that far. And that is cleared. Can Tolkien win this header? Yes, he can. He finds ball to Simo. Nice hold up play by ball to Simo. Look for an Andrew. Andrew making a run for it. Here goes Andrew. Can he play it in the box? He's just going to cut in. Looking, he's going to find Jake Matt. Jake Matt back to Bashar. Bashar, look for Andrew. Stays on side. No, he doesn't. Andrew's offside there, and that's the end of that chance. As we move on here to the 45th minute, here's Andrew. Time nearly running out here in two minutes of bad time. It's Jake Matt. Jake Matt looking. He's going to find Bashar. Bashar back to Jake. Jake looking for Story. No, he's going to find Durate instead. Here goes Diego Durate. Diego Durate into Jacob Story. It's 1-1. Jacob Story gets us even here. Diego Durate finds him. A nice finish. Put some power on it. And we are level at 1. Again, nice counter here. Look at this pass to Durate. Durate looks and he has Story. A nice job. Story cuts in and gets the shot off quickly so no defenders can get to him. And he put some nice power on this one to give the keeper no chance. That is just fantastic from our attacking midfielder. Sorry, no, it's Baldessimo. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Michael Baldessimo. I am so, so sorry. I can't believe I messed up. I'm really tired. Michael Baldessimo gets us even. I mean, Baldessimo's barely a shade lighter than Story. So, I mean, they got basically the same hair. Uh, I couldn't even believe I got the run. I just had to pause it for a sec. And that would be halftime. Again, it's Baldessimo from Durate. Man, I was so hyped for Story, too. Moving on to second half, the header here. That was from Naismith. And that would end up being wide. It remains 1-1. Again, Loon Town are a top-tier team there. I just still can't believe I, I yelled Story and it was Baldessimo. Moving on here to the 53rd minute, it's Morel. Morel pushing through, looking for Adebayo. Adebayo. Here's Cornick. Cornick looking. Is that foul? No. Dude, Tolkien getting away with them, trying to get it out. And look at that play by Durate. He finds uh, Jake Matt. It's now Jacob Story. Story's looking for Andrew. Andrew's through. Can Andrew make it 2-1? Oh, no. Andrew misses it again. He puts it wide. Andrew's been struggling recently. Uh, just finishing, really. Oh, that was such a big chance for Andrew there. It would have been a huge, huge goal for Smithies FC, but instead, it remains 1-1. Here's Morell looking for Bree. Bree. Into Cornick. Cornick. Into Morell. And Loontown pushing for a, a winner here. Morell, nice cut in. Into Cornick. Big save there by Jordan. Rebound blocked by Josh. And now it's with Jacob Story there. As we make, uh, moving on to the 67th minute, we make a double sub here. Bradshaw and Paxton Aronson are coming in for Durate and Jacob Story. We're making a push to get the win here. As it's a corner kick now. 
It's put in. Nice header by Durate and Lalula with it still. Lalula finding Morel. Morel pushing, cutting back in. Here's Morel. Morel with it. Oh, he hit the post. I don't know how that squeaked through, and he hit the post there as Naismith still has it. Bradshaw pressuring. He plays it in the Ponzu. It's Housen and Tom Ponzu. And Ponzu! Big save there by Jordan. Near post there. He's gotten much better at that. And that's going to keep it at 1 1. Nice job getting his right hand out there. And we are in a close battle right now with Loon Town here. As corner to be taken. The, head, the strike. That is the side of the netting. As Lua Lua. They are trying to get a, a wonder goal, really. Moving on to the 76th minute. Morell's with it. He plays it long to Clark. Can Clark keep it in? Yes, he can. Loon Town's been dominating the possession lately. As Clark's still with it. Playing it back to Bree. Here's Clark. Into Rhea. Into Morell. Morell's through. It's Morell. Oh, big save by Jordan. He keeps it at 1 1. Just dives across. It makes what is a crucial save. Look at this. Oh, that is fantastic from Jordan. World class keeping there as he keeps it at 1 1. As now Clark is to take this corner here. He puts it in. Nice clearance there by Diego Durate. And Ponzu still with it here. He plays it back to Clark. Clark pushing forward. Nice play by Josh Matt. And he forces the corner here in the 83rd minute. Loontown pushing for a winner here. As Clark puts in the box. And that's going to be headed up front for a, another corner. That was Durate. He's been doing a good job guarding the near post. Clark now to play it a bit farther out. The header in. Easy save by Jordan there. Jordan now looking. He's going to play it to Nigel. Nigel, nice play by Nigel to Durate. Diego Durate still with it. Paxton Aronson now. Back to Durate. Nice one-two there. Under pressure. Durate making a run for it. Diego Durate playing in for Bradshaw. Oh, big save. Rebound. Oh, Bradshaw can't get to it. And it's cleared. And that would be the end of it. We would end up drawing with Loon Town. A big battle between the two, uh, the first place team and the fifth place team. And it was just meant to be a draw. They got a girl. They a girl. They got a girl. Oh my gosh. Stop it, Chris. They got a goal early there. I, <laughs> oh my goodness. And we got one late. Um, and really, it was just a close battle. Like, we got a response there from Michael Baldessimo and not Jacob Story. And uh, they got a crucial early goal. We were just lazadaisical defensively. So moving on here to the post-match press conference, Andrew's been struggling. And I have, you know, he, he won't always play. He's not automatic to play. But Andrew's the best player. I want him to play every game. But he just wasn't playing that well late. So I just had to take him off after that few, after the miss there wide. Thank you. That's it. Again, it was a very close game. I felt like Bradshaw could play well there. So sorry about that, Andrew. We dropped the sixth with 22 points, tied with Wigan for fifth. As we start simulating a few days here. And by looking at the dates, that means we should get some scan reports. The final ones. From the journeys I set them on, Lance Gray is a loan uh, with the option to buy. We just want a one-year loan. As we look at the Sky reports here from Argentina, that's uh, so maybe Soria. I don't know. I'm probably gonna say no. Miranda, I don't know. The lot of them are just for 250k here. This is a no. That's a no. So I gotta make a decision. Who do I take and who do I not take? And. I mean, Soria doesn't look that bad. I guess I'll take him and I'll take Miranda. I don't know about Kevis. I'm going to not take him. His overall is really low. So we'll see, though. We might release him right after we see him. Here's uh, Nikolai Moeller. No. 
Uh, Lardison, no. Danielson, no. Hanson, no. Thompson, no. Oh, who's this? Azurban Nelson will take him. That's He looks nice. He, we need defensive players, and Nelson looks just like that. I can't wait to see him. Let's see what he looks like. Maybe we found Nigel's uh, center back partner or Bashar's CDM partner? I don't know. Uh, Elias Sadal, maybe. Um, Oliver Winter, maybe. Bush, I mean, these well, those guys are worth a bit. I, I, I'll be interested to see hmm, Bush or Sadal. I think I'm not going to get Oliver Winter. He's too just too low of a potential. And I'm just going to have to let go or release some players. As I can see, Enrique Soria, 45 overall. It's not going to cut it. Miranda, I was looking at him. I mean, uh, I guess I'll keep him for now. I mean, look at look at Nelson there. I guess I'll release Durante Rodriguez. His potential, I know I looked at the others, but Durante Rodriguez's potential, we know for sure he's bad. And same with Andreas Weber there. But, I mean, oh, we got rid of Milo Schmidt there. That's who we got rid of there. I thought I, and Durante Rodriguez we got rid of too, so we can sign Emil Bu uh, Elias Sedell and Emilio Bush. Uh, so we sign him. Um, no, not Oliver Winter there. Come on, Chris. And we sign Bush, and we're done with the scouting there. So let's take a look at some of these guys and what they look like. So we sort here, so to the balance. And first off is Asherman Nelson, a center back, 61 overall. He's six foot three. I looked at if I could put him in any other posi position, but I was dumb to even look at that. Uh, I'll be honest. This is the this is it. This guy is it. it. He was worth quite a bit, so he probably has high potential. I mean, let's put ball playing center back, defensive center back. Uh, it's close. We'll put defensive center back. It improves his stamina and his pace. And, I mean, he's going straight to the senior team. We will release someone. Um, I'll take a look here. We can release. Um, We'll release no Austin. He has no potential. I had transfer list him anyway. So we're going to call up Azurman Nelson. And I'm concerned. He's definitely going to be at least my rotation center back. At least. But maybe my starting center back. We don't know. Elias Sedell here. 57 year old. Uh, 15 year old. Doesn't look too bad. He's got some poor dribbling. He's got some good defending though. We're going to throw Anchorman. Could he possibly be a center back? I don't know. I'll take a look at that. Here's Miranda. He's got, uh, he's a, again, he's a center mid. So we're going to make him a CDM. And I think this is going to improve his rating by a lot enough that he'll be staying at least for the near, just at least for a bit. So don't count on Miranda. He's got some decent potential. I think he's going to get a huge uh, overall boost. Here's Emilio Bush. He's got some good dribbling and pace. He's got poor stamina. I'm going to make advanced playmaker to improve his stamina. And his passing needs to get better. Moving on here. Uh, Tolkien wants to play next game. So um, we will definitely do that. We have a game here against Oxford United. Uh, so that's a big one there. They are seventh place. And look who's making a debut. Debut. Asbergen Nielsen, the Denmark center back we found. It's time for him to make his debut. We are here in Oxford for a huge clash between Oxford United and Smithies FC here at Court Lane. As we are ready to paint the scenes here, we are actually running with the third kits, but I think it's the most important day for one guy. It's Asbergen Nielsen's debut beside Nigel. We're going to move Nigel to that left center back position. Keep uh, Nielsen at the right center back position. And that will be that. We have some players gone on air national break. So Fashioner, I think, is on air national break. Same with Baldassimo and Jake Matt. So the starting lamp's going to look a bit different than what you normally see from Smithies FC. And let's look at first the starting lineup from Oxford United. They got Simon Eastwood at the keeper. Luke McNally is pretty important at the center back position. They got Matty Taylor up front. Uh, Alex Gorn's pretty good too. And they're running a 4-3-3 here 
which is a pretty normal formation to what uh, EFL League One teams run and other teams run. As you can see, the two teams shaking hands there. There's Nigel. I was wondering, why would Nigel not get caught up in an international break, but Fashionary will? I didn't get that. Moving on to Smithy's FC lineup, some of the changes. Telmo Paulinho and Moses Nyman go into the CDM positions because of Bashar and Baldassim on international break. Tanner Ward gets a start at striker, and Nielsen gets a start at center back. Other than that, we're running a normal starting lineup with Story, Durate, Santoro, Tolkien, Nigel Jordan, and Josh Matt. Running a normal 4-2-3-1, as you can see, the team guy right there. This is a big game. Let's see if we can win this game with some rotation players with the mixed squad let's see the resilience we have because we need a win desperately we've been playing average at best and we need to assert ourselves among the best we want to be the best we got to assert ourselves among the best so we get kicked we kick it off here starting off in the 10th minute Telmo Polino playing to story here's Tanner Ward back to story Nyman Nyman looking for Durate but that's stolen it's Osei now with it Osei looking he's going to find Lon Lon Durate going for the ball there. It's a throw in here for Oxford United as McNally has it. Stolen here. Not, uh, Durate finding Tanner Ward. Tanner Ward looking. He's going to look for Jacob Story. Big save. Rebound. Nice play by the defender. And that costly pass there almost gave us a goal. Moving on to the 41st man. Not much going on in this game. Moses Nyman with it. Playing it long to Andrew Santoro. Here's Tanner Ward. Tanner Ward looking. He's got Jacob Story. Jacob Story's breaking through. Here goes Jacob Story. Can he make it 1-0? Yes, he can. It's Jacob Story. It's 1-0. Smithies FC finally late in the half. Find a breakthrough. Big time finish by Jacob Story. Just nice play by Nyman finding Andrew. And then it was up from there as Jacob Story. What a run here. Breaking through the defenders. And he finishes it with his left foot across right into that right corner. And just like that, we have a lead. I think this is big, really, with the squad we have. No Jake, Matt, no problem. As we're winning with the rotation squad, that's amazing to see. Jacob Story coming up clutch. And that's going to keep it here at 1-0. Big time here. As Oxford kick it off late in the first half. We had to wait really till the 53rd minute to get a goal. As it's the 44th minute now. Ruffles with it. Just playing it long to Brannigan. We only have one extra minute. So the whistle should go off in a few seconds. Here's Brannigan. Can Oxford Knight push to get one late? Whistle still hasn't gone. Playing it back. And it should now. It's halftime now. And it's Jacob Story's goal. That is the difference. A great pass there to Story. And, I mean, he broke through those defenders really well. That's something I need to see on my attacking midfielder that can still outpace others, even though he's in the camp position. It's Smithy's FC1. It's Oxford United nil here. As we move on to the second half, we start off in the 60th minute here uh, with a free kick here for Nelson looking for Josh Matt. Josh is going to find Andrew. Here goes Andrew making a run. Andrew pushing. He's got Tanner Ward trying to look for him, but he's going to just cut in. Look for Story. Story playing into Tanner Ward. It's Tanner Ward near post. It's 2-0. Smithies have seen the 63rd minute. Double their lead. It's our backup striker. It's Tanner Ward with a big one. That is great to see. Nice job. Look at Story playing at the ward. Nice job holding off the defender, and he finishes in near post. Keeper probably should have done better playing more aggressive there, but Tanner Ward doesn't care about that. All he cares about is putting that ball in the back of the net, which he does, and he gives us a bit of a cushion to work with here as now it's 2-0 it's for Smithies FC. That's his first goal in the league. I mean, it's a good time to, do it, to score. Had a, to pick a time here to score, now is a good one. As we have it 2 0 here. Moving on to the 67th minute, John Tolkien playing it here to Moses Nyman. Nyman in the story. Story playing it to the outside, but that's going to get taken away here. And Gorin's going to have it. Playing it to Taylor. Taylor Nelson can't win that header. And he's going to play it here to OC. 
OC down the wing, playing it into Gorin, and just like that, it's 2-1. He hits it on the half volley straight up. Jordan, I don't know how he didn't save it there. And Gorin Rodriguez gets a huge goal. I mean, Jordan has to do better here, I think. It's right at him. Nice play there. Nice header for a cross. I can't believe he did that. And oh, it's straight up on Jordan. That's just, he has to be better there, doesn't he? I mean, it's a nice play to get a foot on it, but I don't know what Jordan's doing. I mean, he, 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 he was playing limbo with the ball because I don't know how his head was below the ball. It was literally straight at his face. Sorry, it's Alex Gorn, not Gorn Rodriguez. Um, that was what was on the back of his jersey. I don't know why I got fooled by that. And it's 2-1. Jacob Story is going to come off here. Paxton Aronson is going to come on here as we're just getting some fresh bodies on, hoping to keep this a 2-1 game or take uh, expand our lead here. Moving on to the 82nd minute, Sean Armstrong, who came off the bench, plays it here in the ward. Ward playing it to Paxton Aronson. Paxton Aronson making a run for it. Paxton Aronson into Andrew! We're going to get the win! It's Andrew Santoro! And after those poor games against Exeter and against um, Loon Town, Andrew with a great header here to make it 3-1 against Oxford United. That is fantastic from Andrew. In open space, he just has to control his header, and he does exactly that. That is fantastic. Again, for a right mid, that was great. Smithy's happy about that. He knows we're going to get the win here. It's Andrew Santoro. It's 3-1, and that's his third goal in the campaign. Just fantastic from Andrew really here. Smithy's FC in the driver's seat here. As we move on here in the 91st minute, it's uh, Alex Gorn. Gorn finding Ros uh, Rosato. Rosato was onside there. Looking, he's got uh, Claire. Claire, Rosato. Will he put it in the box? No, he just fakes the shot, then puts it in the box. Nice header out. Rebound here, nice block. Taylor had a huge chance. Taylor's still with it. And Nigel makes a nice defensive play. And Josh Matt's with it, playing it back to Jordan. That should be the full-time whistle. And we are going to get a 3-1 win here in Oxford. A huge win with some of our squad in air, on air national duty. We still get the job done here. Thanks to big goals here from Story, from Tanner Ward, and from Andrew Santoro late. That is just fantastic from our team. It's big that Andrew got his goal, really, because he has been struggling lately. It's good to see him starting to get back on form. And back to the Andrew I'm used to seeing, which is dynamic, pacey, finishes, and just all over the pitch, just doing the best he can. It's the Smithies FC3 and Oxford United 1. As we move on here to the post-match press conference again, we needed this game, it felt like. Just to feel like, man, I just for me at least, to feel like, man, my team just showed up that game and we just beat them flat out. Lance Gray actually did make a debut late. He came on as a striker. Again, I love to have my guys' debuts. We rotated the squad. Vanderbrock wasn't really ready. And on Nelson, I played with Nelson. I think this guy's going to become our starting center back. I think we could take a hit in the overall. As a version, Nielsen is Nigel's future center back partner. He's got the height. He's got the heading ability. He's got the pace. We needed some height, and Azure Ben Nelson is bringing it to us. So we have a transfer offer here for Kevin Paredes. So I had made the decision after that episode that Azure Ben Nelson will be my starting center back. Fashionary will play in the rotation squad, even though Fashionary is 87. Sorry, 67 overall. And Nielsen's actually showing great potential. I actually had forgot here to send our scouts elsewhere. So we're first going to have an African scouting trip here. We're going to send our scout here to Zachary Blake to Ivory Coast. For Calivas, um, I was looking out in um, uh, the, uh, is that Northern Europe? Yeah. We're going to send him out to Wales, I believe. Yeah, we're going to send him out to Wales. And then Marco De Bruyne, we are going to send out to the rest of Europe. We're going to send him out to Ukraine. There's been some special Ukrainian players, so 
Let's hope we can hit on one. Really, I thought that was a nice spot to do it in for three months. Again, traveling the globe, my scouts. We found some good ones. Moving on here, we are running Van de Brock at Striker, among many other moves here. We're going to sim here against MK Dons. And we had most of the squad back except for Jake. And we end up getting a nil-nil draw. And Nigel got a red card. Nigel, my goodness. Basically el eliminating the chance of us winning, really. It was a straight red, too. It wasn't even just, like, a yellow card and then another yellow card. So Nigel's going to be suspended for next game. Lance Gray's going to probably go on, on loan here to some team that I don't know where that is. Paredes is sold. Nigel's as banned, as I said. And Andrew's not happy that he got subbed out. So uh, we'll make sure next time, Andrew, that you play. I apologize about that. Looking at the table, we are fourth place. We're only two points behind second. Only a few behind first. So... If you, uh, so actually, I'm just going to look at the table and go over it again quickly. I don't know why I was talking about when I knew I'd go over it. Loon Town are in first with 34. Blackpool with 28. Ipswich with 27. We're tied with Hall City for 26. Only a few points off an automatic promotion spot. And it's still really early and tight in the table. Charleston Town, Doncaster, Northampton, and Lincoln City are down at the bottom there. We're not going to be relegated, that's for sure. So uh also we're gonna look at our calendar here uh next episode we have shrewsbury bolton hall city um wigan peterborough northampton and ipswich i forgot that uh, papa john's trophy game against oldham athletic there as we look at the future schedule there so if you enjoyed the uh episode guys do me a favor like comment subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one